Hey, welcome back to another video. So this will be a long-winded, perhaps confusing, perhaps rambling type of video, so bear with me on that. Now, this does require a bit of a backstory, so bear with me. So back in the day, 2009, give or take, I was on a website, a forum called the Technodrome, which is about Ninja Turtle fans. Joined there around 2006 or so because the 2003 cartoon I was enjoying and then the new CGI movies coming up. So I'm looking for anything and everything Ninja Turtle related. Grew up with the characters, the 80s cartoon, the live action movies, etc. The 2003 cartoon got me invested back into the characters. Was curious about this upcoming film. The idea was a CGI team and T movie, etc. That came out, floated around that forum for a while, and then about 2009, give or take, someone mentions, "Hey, we're going to do a documentary, documentary on these characters." Very excited. I would do whatever I can. I would contact websites, even got the news out to certain websites contacted the website that James Rolfe has got a reply I don't know if it was James I don't know if it was Mike Matei someone contacted me back and said wow cool that sounds cool I'd be interested gave the info to the people involved I did an interview with one of the guys I was the number I was not number one but you know I was a big big optimistic supporter of the project and they mentioned how it was going to have all this stuff. And we talked to all these people. And we saw the deleted scenes from the first film. And we got, you know, Brian Tochi is there. We got all this stuff. I would ask, what about the 2003 cartoon? Yeah, we talked about that. And then 2014. So, again, about five years later. Because documentaries do take a bit to make and edit. 2014 comes around. The Michael Bay steroid abusing... Faces only a mother could hate. That comes out. Paramount releases this. The Definitive. By Paramount. And you get a 97 minute documentary where over half of the history is missing. Complete sections are not even mentioned, whether it be the 2003 cartoon, whether it be the various comic book incarnations of Mirage. Well, Mirage is, but Image, Archie, IDW, uh, the video games are not mentioned, the Betty assets and aspects of the 80s cartoon, the European stuff, the Red Sky episodes, the two of the live action movies get 30 seconds apiece. Seek your views. Someone says it sucks. The third film, it sucks, but not as much as the second film. Brad, I don't understand that opinion, but it's opinions. But that's all you had. Thirty seconds of each film. The Deputation, not mentioned. Coming out of their shells is, other than some nice behind-the-scenes footage, and to be fair, some good stuff on the 1990 movie. This is a very lacking documentary for all those years of what was said and what was promised and what was told throughout the years and years on that forum and the interview uh, that the, was had with the guy, which yes, that interview was gone. I'll get to that in a few minutes. I remember 10 years ago going on that forum, talk to the guy and going, what happened, dude? All the stuff you said, all the stuff that was promised. How is this definitive? How is this definitive? And the guy said, well, pretty much call me an asshole. He didn't technically say it, but pretty much because, well, you just don't know what the word definitive means. Definitive means the end all be all. No questions asked to be further complimented, contemplated, rumored, 
Courts adjourned. It's final. It's the final say. It's the final countdown. You dot the I's. You cross the T's. Everything is said and done. There's nothing lacking because it's definitive. I might know there's a lot missing, but a, the guy kept arguing me about the word definitive. And I would mention, but what about documentaries like Crystal Lake Memories? What about documentaries like Never Sleep Again? I brought those up a lot. And people were calling me a fool. People were calling me an asshole. I find it ironic that 10 years later, what they're doing here is the stuff that I was called an asshole for 10 years ago. So I find that kind of ironic. I find that kind of funny, especially when the name of the thing is called Definitive Films. Right there. Just something I laugh at. Now, granted, it has nothing to do with me because I'm a nobody. I know this. I'm a nobody. I'm nothing. I guarantee they don't even know who I am, don't remember, and I don't blame them because who the hell am I? I'm a nobody. Now, you see this, and I will get to that in a f quite a few minutes because you don't ask, well, all the complaining, why is this a thing? Bear with me. That will be, that will be answered. Short answer, put your money where your mouth is, all that stuff. So they come out with this Kitstarter campaign, which on in itself is suspect because Kitstarter is like the stock market. You may win, you may lose, but Kitstarter doesn't have any obligation to give you back your money. Kitstarter does ha have an obligation to give you back anything else. That's up to the creator, and if the creator does or doesn't, it's going to be their they're across the bear, so to speak. And how many times have you been with a Kickstarter project where nothing happens? Or something screws up, oh, something out of our control. So they put out this crowdfunding thing, Kickstarter. Which I'm thinking, well, if you've had this footage, you've shot all this footage already, I would assume, I guess, the kit starters for the physical products? Or, I mean, you, you had this for 10 years already on top of the 5 years. From 2009 to when this came out. And now you have, from 2014 to now, even if you edit it on weekends or every once in a blue moon, you tell me after 10 years you still need money to... Okay. I find that a bit weird. That's just me, though. And I find it funny that, okay, 27 days to go. They're already funded. And they're over 5,000. And they have 27 days to go. More than likely, this is going to get over 100,000. But again... They asked for a $73,000 goal, 27 days to go. They got funded in like two or three days. Now, what I find funny about that is the prices, which is always the thing with this type of stuff. The Aliens documentary that was a hundred dollars for a Blu-ray, whether it be the what was it the In Search of Darkness, all that stuff. I've complained about that, and I know people call me a fool. They call me crazy. They call me all this type of stuff. So be it. And. You look at the campaign. What's the campaign? It is, depending on which rewards you decide to pick up. If you pick up, uh, I'll explain that in a minute. You look at this stuff here. Twenty-six dollars. To rent something. That's pretty much what it is. Three month is to rent something. Not even to own it. If you want 
just a digital copy that's forty five dollars If you want the Blu-ray, it's $63. That does not include shipping. <coughs> I would assume shipping could be $10, $15. I mean, if this is close to $80, I would not be surprised. And this is what the, the killer was. To get the bonus disc, the bonus, it's more than double. It went from $63 to $148. Again, there's not, that doesn't even include shipping. From $63 to $148. Pretty crazy, huh? They go from $63 to $148. Get more than double just to get bonus features. Okay, if you want, and, okay, it's not on here because the other thing, if you want three action figures, action figures, some punt out commando, Some buddy buddy figure of Kennedy Eastman Peter Laird, those three figures added with a book, $428. So the book and those three figures, almost $500. This is even more hilarious. For you get the stuff I mentioned, and then you just get a text on the, the thing. You're the associate producer. You don't get any word on the project in terms of any choice on, well, can you include this? Can you include this? Can you? Nope. You don't get any power with it. You just get a name at the front. And on IMDb, because a lot of people don't be checking this damn thing out on IMDb. $627. But if you want to change that word from associate to executive, $3,000 more. Dollars. That's a hell of a jump to go from fucking $627 to $3,600. Which three people bet? So three people are going to be the executive producer. I mean, hey, it's your money. I get it. It's your money. But all you're getting is letters that honestly most people are not going to read and give a shit about. <laughs> and they're going to pass by and they're not going to think about it ever again. But <sighs> what kills me about stuff like this and how expensive everything about it is, just like anything with the In Search of Darkness documentaries and Aliens documentary and all that stuff is that it doesn't need to be that expensive. It doesn't. And this is the one I chose because it's the Blu-ray, the bonus features, apparently the digital and the physical, and a book. Again, I like I said, I will explain why I did this in a few minutes. But hey, since I did, that means I'm a customer. That means I can say whatever the hell I want. I'm putting my money where my mouth is. Hopefully she's not screamish. But look at this goal. The reason they put these prices up is they put these prices up because they're hoping to reach this goal as soon as possible within the 30 days. Because a lot of times these goals are pretty, I mean, they're pretty high. They put, you know, 100,000, here, 73,000. Oh, we only have 30 days. Man, uh, if, if we just say that's $20, man, 
man, even if 10 people buy it, that's not enough. It's got to up the price. But look at how quickly it got within three days. If you want to do your special thing where, hey, you want to feel better and you want to, is that to producer credit? Sure, spend $3,000. I could never see that, but okay. Then obviously there are people that will do that. But the fact that if you want to see your documentary and your features, you have to pay an arm and a leg, to me is totally ridiculous. And it didn't need to be that way. Because you see how many people already pledged, and you still got 27 days to go. If this goal was 100000 it would have still been funded fairly quickly, and then people would have seen the price, they'd go, oh wow, it's a pretty good price, maybe I'll buy two, maybe I'll buy three for my friends or whatever. But instead, they charge, they charge an arm and a leg because they know they can get away with it as it succeeded. And believe me, I put that in after this succeeded. So it's not like, well, you no. After this succeeded, I'm like, well, they already got their money. So the fact that these are the same people that promised all the world back in 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, and delivered this bare bones, nothing of a disc that has a couple good things in it, to be fair, but is severely, upon severely lacking, the fact that these are the same people that I mentioned, well, you know, I know you get, you know, the fans, hey, the fans love what the fans love. And they're like, this is the best thing ever. I'm like, no, it can be better. Look at his name was Jason, the Friday 13th documentary. You can like that. I can enjoy for what it is, but it can be better. It could be better. And it did because he had Crystal Lake memories. This is the his name was Jason. If done well, this to this to be like Crystal Lake memories. That's why I mentioned 10 years ago and people told me to go fuck myself and you're whining and you're bitching and oh you just want too much and this this and that. I'm like it's the it's right there that you see on the screen is why I talked about 10 years ago and why this is not definitive because if it's so damn definitive you will not begin four hours plus apparently another what 12 hours of bonus features apparently P crazy isn't it that's why I brought up 10 years ago was called an asshole for it And then, like, the sometimes ridiculous, it's not just these guys, everybody re charge ridiculous money. And on a platform that Titstar doesn't really have the best track record, because I'm not saying these guys will do it, but this book, right, this book here, who's to say that book will be a reality? Who's to say that book, well, something happened, and uh, sorry, we couldn't get you the book. Titstar will even tell you, these rewards, there's no guarantee. And we can't do anything about it. So you're taking the chance. It's a gamble. You gotta know when to hold them. You gotta know when to fold them. You gotta know when to walk away. You gotta know when to run. And it's just like, well, shit happens. That's just how it goes. And I find it funny, that's the show that I did it, I'll get to that in a minute. But I don't know what, what this is. That's the show, the email. This is the other thing. This is one of their add-ons. A rare out-of-print copy of Turtle Power. I guess this one is signed by Kevin Eastman, Peter Laird. But 
I then read up that no, that's not the one that's signed by Peter Laird. This other thing is. That's why if you look at down here. See, these see the same thing. A rare out of print copy signed by Tiffany's and Peter Laird. A rare out of print copy signed. See how these say the same thing? Signed by Eastman and Laird. Signed by Eastman and Laird. A rare out of print copy. A rare out of print copy. Definitive history. Definitive history. This $295 is a signed one. So this one right here is this one. And all it is is this. $74 for this. Out of print. How the fuck is it out of print when I did get it on Amazon for $7.87? New. There's 16 in stock. But all the new from $6.51. Used $3.24. You could buy brand new here for $7.87. How rare out of print is it when you go on Amazon and buy it for 8 bucks? But if you buy from here, it's $74. And it's not the signed one because I told you, this is the signed one. That's why it says signed Turtle Power DVD. And this just says Turtle Power DVD. Signed the DVD. So why is an add-on $74 for a DVD that people could get for $7 fucking dollars on Amazon? And again, you're wondering... Well, Matt, of all the stuff you said for the past 22 minutes, why did you do this? I did it for a couple reasons. Number one, to put my money where my mouth is. What does that mean? Number two, since I'm a consumer, I have a right to say this. Because people go, well, you can't say anything. Number three, leads into this. People would think I'm only doing this because you want someone to buy for you. You're too cheap. No. I have enough. And I'm going to take the chance on this. So no, it's not me going. Because someone even mentioned they were nice enough. They said, oh, well, why don't you do a thing and you'll get donations. No, because that's not what this is about. It's not about me getting donations from people. It's about... Because that means their money would be at risk in case this belly flops. I'll take the risk. I'll take the chance. I'll be the guinea pig. Because the fourth and final bit is I am passionate about these characters. I was passionate, was, about this project from 2009 when I first heard about it. So, 15 years ago now. A project that apparently... December 2026 is the release. A lot of shit could happen until then. And I will be keeping this updated. So if any shenanigans goes on, I'm going to say something. More so in a video. And if this comes into fruition, I'm going to let people know how it is. I'm going to let people know how it is, and what it is, and was it worth it, and all that jazz. And you know me, I'm going to be honest about it. And, I'm going to say this. Since this will be my product, my digital copy, my digital copy, perhaps, maybe, maybe not, perhaps someone I know Maybe someone I saw in the mirror will upload this on a mega upload. Will upload this on a mega upload. Give it to you, the fans, so you don't have to pay this exorbitant amount of money. Which is not piracy because they got their funding right then and there. They got over the stretch go. Stretch go if I learn how to talk. That's code for a goal. Yeah. <laughs> 
they have to go and the coat is <laughs> I just fucked up that's all it is I just fucked up I fuck up sometimes fuck up a lot of times I can admit that because I will admit if this is all fantastic and up in the air I'll say it as well but for people out there that don't get a shot at this because uh, tits dirt at times they don't accept your credit card just type it up so many people did decline because banks think this is they don't trust history a lot of times or you're not I don't really buy much of anything anymore I'm very stingy with my money that's why I have a little piece over here and I'm like I can afford if I take the loss oh well but other people will not be able to and then if they absolutely want to see this because they're fans then I if this does I will give it to them because I know how a fan can be passionate about it but at the same time things are going on in their lives and also maybe as a thank you to you people out there which for some reason you crazy jamotes for some reason watch my videos you've sent in paid requests you've been very generous with kind of that you keep it coming it helps me keep going and to give something give anything back to you guys this will be it and not well could y'all give me a piece of the the money to pay this no I did it. I paid this. And that way, if they actually do what they say they're going to do, I will make these available for you. So that anybody and everybody can watch this. Because that's not fair to be like, oh, and same with the book. I will show this book. If this book is a real thing, I will do a video showing this book. I will go through the entire book. So you can see it for yourself. I'll go through the whole book page by page. I'll go into detail as to what all is in there. I'll upload the, uh, the stuff I'm going to upload. And why, again, why would I do that? Because so that you guys are able to see it, so that you guys are able to enjoy it. Because you may be taking a chance on this that may be go belly up and you can't afford that. If it does, oh well. Shit happens, life happens, you learn, you live, you hope you to do live again more in the future. But if, if it does then you guys won't miss out because you were cautious, understandably so, from people that told you one thing and brought you this 10 years ago. And again, I will keep updated. Apparently, this, no matter what, this will go until the 30th, uh, October 14th. So, I guess, the, for what I understand, you don't get charged until October 14th, and then I'm assuming They'll give updates after. But you know me. Now that it's me on the line. My money on the line. I'm Robert De Niro. Okay Mr. Fokker. I'm looking at you. Okay. I'll even bring my cat in here. And train him how to take piss in the toilet. Okay. This and Fokker. I'm, I'm watching you. I want to do something for my subscribers. I want to do something for my fans because I don't know for some reason this weirdo redneck in Texas for some reason has fans. I don't get it either. And I'm tired of these companies pushing all this goddamn money on top of people and trying to stretch them out like they're fucking Stretch Armstrong. When you didn't need to do it because you met your fucking goal in less you know like three days. So if you made a bigger goal that maybe would have had a less strain on people's wallets. I 
granted you still have the thing of kit start and you hope nothing goes wrong and all that other stuff but still I'm never the best way of explaining stuff I don't know if I explain it even the, the best ability to do that I'm not trying to sound like oh, I'm some saint holier than thou saint far fucking from it I know I'm an asshole I just didn't like this guy calling me an asshole he didn't again technically he didn't call me but acted as if I was an asshole when I asked a legitimate question about what the fuck happened all the shit here and I had the suggestion which apparently they're doing now ten years later so again apparently October 14th this would be charged on the card and then apparently afterward until December 2026 but I will definitely be keeping an eye on it. I'm assuming I will be getting emails on this, I would think. If not, I will definitely have this and I will be checking this some bitch. Check out the product updates. This is where the creator will keep creator will reach out when your reward is ready. Yeah, apparently. Now, this is 106. Why does it keep saying that? It says right here. I guess that because that's Canadian. Maybe that's why it is. Like, that's in Canadian dollars, and then this is in American dollars. Yeah, converted from, okay, from Canadian. So I guess it's a hundred thousand Canadian, which is this much American. Well, if you did a hundred thousand American, maybe you can make these things damn cheaper for people. Again, just some of the stuff doesn't make sense. Why are you charging seventy four dollars for a DVD that is seven fucking dollars on Amazon? Why is it pricing up from $63 for the Blu-ray to a hundred and... Okay, that's $63 for the Blu-ray. And... $140 if you get the bonus content. Because apparently if you need bonus features, you got to double the price of it. Can you imagine any other company doing that? Hey, you want the bonus feature on that Blu-ray? Well, we're, we're up in it. <laughs> and that's the reason. I just... Although it's funny, this is December 2025. So which is it? Is it December 2025... Or is it December? Okay, that says December 2025. That says December 2025. But that says December 2026. So I guess they're assuming, well, the book and stuff will be a year later. I guess. Okay. But, I guess we'll find out. And you know me, I don't hold back on stuff. And I'm not going to sugarcoat stuff. So I put my money where my mouth is. Some people would want me to put it on the cock and told me to suck it. But instead I'm doing this. Sorry. If it was a titty, maybe I would. But with that said, if it all succeeds, you the fan will be seeing this stuff. Cause I will make it available. Even if they don't let me put it on YouTube, as in like make a video on that part. Um I have a Facebook, I have Instagram. I could always let people know on there as well. So, again, I do have a Facebook, I do have Instagram, um, all that other stuff. 
So, yeah. Does that thing, you know, this whole thing with all these people are doing is ridiculous. And I'm tired of people being ripped off. So if, if I, I'll be the guinea pig and if I get ripped off, I get ripped off. But if it succeeds, then it's going to benefit people out there, you guys. And if it doesn't, then it will prove my point without a shadow of a doubt. Instead of me just being some guy that rambles on. That maybe, just maybe, I actually believe in the convictions I say just the teeniest bit. That I'm not just blowing smoke. It's not just hot air. And you can't say I'm not ruined for you. Because my money's on the line too. Now you succeed in your goal. The ball's in your court. So again, you can't say, we just wanted to fail. It succeeded. We, no, I put money in it. So why would I want it? I want you to succeed. I want you to shut me up. I want you to blow me away. Blow me out of the water. But I will still not condone the high prices. Stuff like that. That turtle power thing. The, the hiking prices that seem to not make sense from one to the other. The exorbitant amount of prices that did not need to be because this goal would have been made if these prices were cheaper. I guarantee it. Because again, within three days this all happened. You still have 27 more days to go. Come on now, man. Come on now. But that's just me. So with that said, thanks for watching. Take care. And we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.